Yo, what's up everyone? Patrick here. Welcome back. Moving on to the next question. We've got to solve each of these four equations here specifically with factoring. So starting with this first one, we got x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals zero. So I'm going to factor this over here, this quadratic with um, decomposition. So I'm going to find out two numbers that multiply to AC, A times C, and add up to the uh, B value, right? So we'll have 1 times negative 15, which is negative 15, and then the B value is negative 2. So what two numbers multiply to negative 15, add up to negative 2? That would be negative 5 and positive 3. Right, both of those work. So what we do is we decompose that middle value to x squared minus 5x plus 3x minus 15. Doesn't matter which order you go in. So I put the negative 5x first, but you could have put plus 3x minus 5x. The point is we took this negative 2, decompose it to negative 5x plus 3x. Notice negative 5x plus 3x does give us indeed negative 2. But what we do from here now is we factor by grouping. So notice from these two we could take out an x. And then notice from these two we could take out a positive 3. And then notice these two brackets are the same. These two brackets should always be the same if uh, quadratic factors smoothly. So now we could take out the x minus 5 and we'd have x plus 3. So we took this transformed it to that. And remember, this is an equation, so this is equaling zero the whole time. And so now, when is this going to equal zero? Well, basically, if x minus 5 equals zero or x plus 3 is equal to zero, it's going to happen at an x value of 5 at an x value of negative 3. Those are the two solutions for that first quadratic equation. All right, moving on to the next equation. We got uh, 2x squared minus 11x plus 15 equals 0. Now, notice that with all of these, everything is brought to one side already, which is nice, but sometimes there's going to be a mixture of things. So you got to bring everything to one side, simplify all the like terms, and then go about this process. So here, we got 2x squared minus 11x plus 15. Same thing, I'm going to factor this over here, so using decomposition. So two numbers that multiply to a times c, which is 30, and then add up to the b value, which is negative 11. So this would be negative 6, negative 5, then we have negative 6, negative 5. So we would decompose this, negative 11x, to minus 6x, minus 5x, and then we got a plus 15, like that. And then we factor by grouping. So we could take out a 2x from these two, you could take out a negative 5 from these two, same bracket, we could take that out and we're left with a 2x minus 5, right? And so when is this going to equal 0? Basically when x minus 3 equals 0 or when 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. So it's going to happen at an x value of 3. This is going to happen at an x value of 5 over 2. Those are the um, two solutions to this equation over here. If you need a little more uh, review with decomposition, let me know and I could send you a bunch more videos from the high school curriculum where I go into the process in a little bit more depth. But uh, if you're pretty comfortable with decomposition at this point, don't even worry about it. So, um, this here, notice this is a cubic function, and notice that we can actually start off by factoring out an x from all the terms. So we could take out an x, and we'd be left with x squared minus 4x minus 21 equals 0. Then notice that this factors, if you follow that decomposition, to that. So notice there's three brackets now. So this whole thing's going to equal 0 when x equals 0, when x equals 7, and then when x is negative 3. So those are the three 
solutions to this equation. And then this last one, same thing. Notice we could take out an x and we'd be left with x squared minus 20. x squared minus 20, that doesn't factor smoothly, right? You can pretend it's a difference of squares. So you could do x minus root 20, x plus root 20. But um, yeah, that's not really proper format, quote unquote factoring where you're going to have square roots like that. So usually you'll see it just left like this. Now from here though, notice that x can either be zero. That's one of the solutions to this whole thing, right? If we plug in zero, notice left side is going to equal right side. Over here, when does this bracket x squared minus 20 equals zero? Well, when x squared equals 20. So when x is equal to root 20. And remember, square root can be plus or minus. And then you can actually simplify this radical here into root four times root five, which would be two root five. So that's another way to write this solution, right? The more simplified way. Two root five and root 20 are the exact same thing. So x equals zero and plus or minus two root five is, are the solutions to this fourth equation.